video. This is a long awaited house tour. I finally got my keys yesterday, so I'll show you around. So come on in. So this is us just going in through the front door. This is the main room. There's a classic retro ga gas fire just there. Then yeah, these are new uh, radiators and there's lovely ceiling rows, but my friend Shelf was filming this, so he didn't quite get them in, which is annoying, but yeah, you just have to take my word for it. Then this is my dining room. This is where I want to knock through into both rooms. So it's just like a big open planned room. Let the light through from my garden. And that's just my little yard thing. I'm going to put decking all there. Then coming through to the kitchen. He's put a little extension on the kitchen. But he's like half done the unit. So the benches on one side of the kitchen don't quite the match the benches on the other side of the kitchen. But yeah, there's two massive big windows that go out into the yard. Yeah, so climbing up the stairs now we get to our little bathroom. There's some very, very interesting tiles if you look down there. You've got little froggies on them. <laughs> These, I think, definitely need to go. Yeah, it's very basic bathroom, but hopefully not too much work. Manageable. The ceiling probably will need to be plastered though. This is the spare bedroom. Yeah, very brief little view of that. <laughs> this is my main bedroom. Carpets are pretty bloody awful. But yeah, I'm going to take those um, cupboards out and obviously the rubbish out of that room. The last room is my study. There's just beautiful floorboards down at the minute. But they're going to be all uh, sanded down and then varnished and polished up. And you can just have a nice little view of the little street. So yeah, that was just a little tour of my house. Obviously, I know there's a lot of work to do. The spare room, I mean, it's just like covered in benches, which wears workspace and things. And yeah, there's just... A lot of rubbish clear. I already took like one car load of rubbish to the tip before I even filmed that video. So you can just imagine how much random stuff there is in there. There's like a box of like Christmas decorations and stuff. There's like some old weird creepy teddies in the cupboard and things. And like loads of ugly pictures on the walls. So I've just literally stripped it all bare. Just like ripping up all the carpets and uh, sanding everything down, plastering all the walls. Just hopefully have a nice like clean base to start with then I'll start like decorating and then put my own like finishing touches in. Sorry I know the lighting in here is terrible. I filmed that video in the daytime and then I just came home and ate loads of pizza with my friend so <laughs> it's actually dark now so just trying to find some light in my uh, sitting room in my parents house at the minute. It's just not really working out for me so hopefully you can bear with this terrible lighting. Yeah, I'm just sticking right into getting all the work done. I'm under no illusions about how much work I've got to come. I had the builders out today to give me a quote for knocking through that wall um, from my dining room and my sitting room. I just think it's going to make such a huge difference once that's done. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to... I went to a fireplace shop, like which sells old reclaimed fireplaces. I'm going to go back again next weekend, I think, just buy one and then get it fitted because I just want a really old, original, beautiful fireplace. Like I just had that in my head when I was going around all the houses, when I was viewing houses, like every single fireplace. I'm like, tick, a beautiful fireplace. And you can get them and they are beautiful still. So it doesn't really matter that much to me whether it came with a house or not, as long as it's like an old, antique, beautiful fireplace, then I'm going to be happy. But yeah, my main priority is getting the... Uh, dining room and sitting room like all of the building structural work done first getting it beautiful and decorating and I think I'm gonna probably start chipping off those tiles in the bathroom ASAP and then get a plaster to come give me a quote for just plastering over that I'm probably gonna have to get the electrician to come put new lighting in the bathroom which I didn't realize I was gonna do which is kind of annoying because it's just more cost isn't it but yeah also I think I'm gonna have a good go at bashing those <laughs> awful like fitted cupboards in my bedroom out with like just a, like a hammer or something to see how it goes. Honestly I can't make it look any worse than it already does so why not give it a try. Yeah just probably going to be a million more trips to the dump but we'll see. But yeah this is the before. Hopefully I'll film it after in a few months and it will just all be pristine and lovely. Uh, but knowing me it's probably going to take at least like a year's time before I'm happy with it. But. Yeah, hopefully I'll film some progress updates along the way. This is exciting because this is finally me having the keys, being able to go to my new home and actually like start figuring things out and fitting things and finding out where places are going to, like the things are going to go. Yeah, it's very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did enjoy making it. Yeah, thanks for watching.